All right, guys, I forgot to go over the remote with you and show you how the dimmer works. So I'm gonna turn the car on. Because I'm in the garage, my automatic headlights came on, which in essence started the footwell lights. So I currently do have the map light on just so I can go over this with you. But we have the remote control here that has a power button. The light button, the green one, is to switch back to static mode, um, how you see them now, just as a static light. Brightness increase, decrease, presets for 100%, 50%, and 25%. The mode positive and mode minus, that changes the different modes of dynamic. So dynamic thing, flashing, strobe light, um, you can increase and decrease the speed. This uses radio frequency wireless technology. So the megahertz that this remote sends out is actually pretty good. You don't even have to be near the controller, which is mounted up underneath here. If I could show you just from back here, I could actually hit 50%, 25%, 100%, change the mode to dynamic, hope no one has epilepsy, I could change the speed faster, slower, So these are just the different modes. Um, you can still change it to 100%. That automatically takes it back to static. So it's really nice to have it at 100% while you're parked, but then you know maybe if you're driving, you only want it on 25%. So as you can see, it's still on. Let me shut this map plate off. It, as you can see, it's it's still on. My feet are still red. Here's the passenger side. Just so you know, my hand is over here, so the remote is picking up, which is pretty nice, because you could be driving down the road and not have to worry about, you know, aiming directly at a, at a remote. So I really like it. That, that's a very subtle, the camera's making it look more concentrated in one area than it is um, it actually is illuminating down to where the passenger feet would be down here um, let me change it back up it is still illuminating down here it's just very hard to pick it up on the camera but that was at 25% so here's at 50% but I'm really happy I went this route a lot more happy than if I would have went with the OEM one that you know, is a single LED bulb. Everybody's been complaining that you can't even um, see it, really. I mean, that it's just so, so low, so dim, that it's not even worth the $90. So, I don't know why this camera all of a sudden decided not to focus, but there we go. So guys, that's how the remote works. I'm really happy with it, all in all. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who's subscribed. I'll keep you posted on the next video.